Hello, my lovely Libras, and a very warm welcome to your March 2022 horoscope. Now, the month starts off on the 2nd with a lovely, whoopsie daisy, new moon happening here in your sixth house. Now, the sixth house has a big focus this month, and a new moon here gives you an opportunity for new beginnings in this life area. So what's the sixth house about? Well, the sixth house is about your work. Could be some new beginnings to do with your work. There could be some new beginnings to do with your health and your well-being. And some new beginnings in your service, your contribution to other people's lives. The sixth house also rules animals. So for those of you that love animals, there could be some new beginnings to do with animals and your connection with nature. So it's a great time to start a new diet, a new exercise program. Anything that supports your physical energy and well-being. This is a great time to do it at the beginning of March. Now, on the seventh of the month, we've got Venus and Mars moving together, and they are conjunct for the second and third week of the month. And they're in your fifth house, lovely Libras of romance. So for some of you, this may mean a new romance. For some of you, it may be the perking up of a romance that you have with yourself. That you really appreciate you lovely Libras, who have a tendency to look outside and appreciate others very, very well. But how about bringing it inside? And this is the heart energy. Fifth house has to do with your creativity, your entrepreneurship. You might be starting a new business, launching a product, a service. It's a wonderful time for entertaining and being entertained, doing anything cultural, and certainly exploring more of your great creativity. On the 10th of the month, Mercury comes into the sixth, and there might be a message for you from somebody to do with a work-related situation, or maybe you learn something to do with health and energy and healing that could be really valuable to you. Now on the 18th of the month, we have got a full moon balancing out all this external activity in your 12th house. So this is shining a light on your spiritual side, your spiritual direction, making sure are you taking enough time out to meditate, to be peaceful, to be in nature, to relax, and just to be, and not to think too much. So this is really important at the time around the full moon to put some energy into contemplation and withdrawing a little from the world in order to rebalance yourself, not to have too much out there or too much in there necessarily, but make sure that it's in balance. And you'll know what I mean about balance, lovely fellow Librans. On the 21st of the month, we've got the sun coming into your seventh house, lovely Libras. And on the 28th, Mercury joining the sun, again, highlighting relationships. Could be a new beginning, a new possibility, a new energization. And it could be a business relationship, as well as an intimate or a personal one. You might be consulting with people. You might be giving them sessions and consulting with them. So there you have it, my lovely Libras. I wish you a wonderful month, and I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subbing. Bye for now.